Hello, this is Lisa Greenlee from Casa de Greenlee Art, and today's video is, does resin really make a difference? And I wanna show you that it really does. Um, this painting in particular, it's gonna make a huge difference of bringing out the colors. And I have another, a frame that I did in the same style that I will also show when I resin that one. So let me go mix my resins and I'll be back. Okay, I have my resin mixed and ready to go. I use crystal resin, which I will try to put a picture somewhere up here and a link in the description box. Um, it is all mixed up nice and clear. And let's begin. Um, I am wearing multiple gloves because I do use my hands. So I like to try to not do anything that's going to interfere or spread around and stuff. And I'm really sorry about the lights. I can't get the lights on a back background not to reflect too much. So here we go. I was actually really afraid of resin when I first um, started doing this um, because of the mixing and the fumes and stuff like that. And when I go to use my um, heat gun, I will turn the sound off because I run my air purifier and it gets really, really loud. So what I do is I go through, push all this to the sides. I don't need to go too far down the sides on this. This is a wood panel and I tape them up really close to the edge. So I don't need to go down the edge too far with these. It's just like a maybe not even a quarter of an inch that the edge shows. I hope you guys can hear my happy little birds outside. Spread it around the top, make sure everything gets covered. And you should already be beginning to see that the color is just really coming out now from those pearl colors that I used to paint. Okay, this looks really good. Kind of touch the edges again. I'm just gonna use the rest of this on here and I'll just mix up a new batch for the other paintings. I usually resin several paintings at once and do a big resin day because they need 24 hours to dry before I can move them. And um, so it's just easier to do a bunch at a time and then I'm not mixing multiple days and if I have you know, enough resin, um, I can do multiple paintings with one cup. So depending on their size, okay. are popped in the resin. Um, I think it looks amazing. You can really see the color come out. I'm going to move my lights um, over a little bit so you can see a little bit better. I kind of moved them away so there wouldn't be so much of a glare. But look at that color. Isn't that just amazing? What a, just a coat of resin can do for a painting. And um, I'm just also making sure I don't have any bare spots, which I had one over here, as you saw that I was kind of going over it and then poured a little bit more. So that looks amazing. Um, and I think I will go ahead and show you, uh, reset the camera and uh, show you a couple other things that I'm resonating. Alrighty, so I have mixed my um, next cup of resin. And I am gonna go ahead and hopefully have enough to do all three of these. This one is a deep edge canvas, so I do have to do all of the sides. So we'll see if I have enough. Okay. 
Now I have cleaned my canvases with um, baby wipes that don't have any like moisturizer. They're all organic, you know, um, allergy free kind of thing. So there's no chemicals in there, but it's really important to clean, clean your canvases and get all the dust off of them before you resin. I got all of the edges. I just bumped my head on the camera. That was good. Now I'll make sure I get the entire surface covered. There's a little spot right there. Okay. Get all the excess on my hand onto the edges. Now let's do the these I just have sitting on cups um, little measure little like uh, ketchup you know you get in a restaurant a little cup of ketchup um, because I didn't want to put pins in the bottom is a it's really hard to get them in and then they will pop up through the top um, into the painted part so or the part that you're painting at the time so I just have them sitting on little cups Got that one. Oh, there's a little spot right there that didn't get covered. And there's a spot right here that didn't get covered. I hope you'll be able to see, even on the, the tan one, um, putting the resin on makes a big difference and the color really does pop there too. Resin is a miracle. <laughs> I was so afraid of it when I first started, um, just because of mixing the resin together and the you know fumes off of it, and um, and just you know, a working with chemicals in general just terrified me. Um, oh, you can kind of see the cups here moving around as I'm trying to get this moved around. Spot right there. Okay, straighten up a little bit. All right, I'm gonna pour the rest of that on here. Oh, there's a spot. Little spots there I missed. gonna take one layer of gloves off and do the bubble popping part. <laughs> tripod and I wanted to do a close-up with the flash on 
of the finished product here. And I will show them when they're completely dry, but they look exactly the same when they are dry. Isn't that gorgeous? See the shimmer, colors just pop. And I have two, at least two more paintings to resin tomorrow. So I will do those also. Look at the shimmer in this one. The gold just pops when you put the resin on, just looks amazing. And then, of course this is looking blue, not purple, because of the flash on. And then I did this, did this little orange one. You can see the Pebeo iridescence really good in this one. All right. Thank you so much. I will see you tomorrow when I do the next ones.